20 years today, can you believe it? That's right, 20 years today, Devious was born. This ain't no April Fool's joke, people. This is serious shit. 20 years ago, I wanted to start a shop, and I started just fabricating, but I wanted a shop that we could do everything in, paint, body, interior, CNC machining, you name it, we did it. We're here today to prove it, that it can be done. Anyway, I was gonna have a huge party. I want a bunch of people here, a bunch of live bands, and really cool gig. But with all the stuff going on in the world, that didn't happen. So today, we're gonna release our YouTube video series, Devious Por Vida. We're also going to show you a bunch of old pictures from back in the day, building cars and trucks. And then I'm gonna give you a little shop tour. So that's it, let's get to it, come on. Just a quick overview of what's going on here. We did the interior in this car, air ride. We're building custom wheels for it right now. Uh, good guy out of uh, LA, super cool. Uh, did fuel injection on it. This over here is our SEMA build from last year. Uh, it's got an LSA mower blower motor in it. Uh, our wheels, custom paint, interior, everything. Thing is bad. Uh, it's here just for a few little things left to do and uh, it's a blast to drive. Man, that thing is so much fun to drive. It does donuts too. Haha, <laughs> roll footage. So this is Tim Montana's truck. Uh, K&N uh, hit me up and said, hey, how would you like to build a truck with a country music singer? And I said, well, hell yeah, what's he sing, you know? So I looked him up and started listening to his music and pff, he's badass. So, uh, I can't tell you all the plans for this because it's kind of secret because we don't want Tim to know, but on episode one of YouTube, you'll see a little bit of uh, what we're doing, so check it out. Um, this is a mini truck build here, a little four-cylinder turbo uh, with air ride and uh, we, you know, just going through the whole truck and gonna make it sick. Uh, I don't build a lot of mini trucks anymore, but uh, I'm excited to get this one in here and get it done, so we're, we're pretty stoked about it. One of the local girls on the car show circuit, her name is Kat, this is her Cadillac. We're just uh, freshening up her air ride a little bit. Um, doing a few little upgrades for it and uh, put some new mufflers on it. So that will be on the road today. This here is uh, a guy named Brian, he's super rad. Uh, doing all kinds of crazy stuff with this. This is a twin turbo LS, flush mount windows. We're doing a little trick trickery on the tail light right now. It's pretty sick. Uh, also has our bag job, it's full custom interior, bumpers are going to be sucked in and smoothed and shaved and modified and just unreal. This, this car has a shit ton of work going into it and uh, just super excited about it. This is our fab department, our fab department here pretty much we build everything in house. We got a sheet metal area, we have CNC plasma, we have uh, our full time welder over here, of course we got some cool garage art. That hood was uh, a memory of one of my friends that passed away. Uh, all my friends, had we had a big party and they signed it, which is kind of cool. These hoods over here, that was off my old dually. And then I have a hood above it that was a TV show that we were on. Got my Bailey Power Hammer. So I'm gonna take you in the back door of our second shop. This is where uh, our audio guy does all his magic. Um, he builds the speaker boxes and helps the door panels and all kind of stuff that we manufacture, plus some custom, a lot of custom stuff actually. Um, sorry, it's kind of messy because we're slam busy. Um, I'm also going to show you the machine shop as well. A little sneak peek of a trunk setup we're doing. Don't tell Jeff or Amy. Ah, just kidding. This is a CNC router table by Laguna. Uh, this cuts wood, plastic, aluminum. Uh, right now we're making our firewall plates as you can see. Here's some of Jeff's interior, Jeff and Amy's interior. We just built these door pods here. So some of the stuff we'll have available on the website soon for 66 and up. This is our CNC shop. This is our, we have a small lathe, the big lathe and uh, a mill. These things here uh, produce pretty much anything we can dream of. Uh, here's a speaker grill cover we just made. Um, right now he's doing center caps for our wheels. Um, and uh, tapered ball joints for spindle kits, motor mounts. I mean, just a little bit of everything. 
This is a customer out of Orange County. Uh, super good dude. Uh, we got this car in a bunch of boxes, so literally uh, playing the game of puzzle pieces to get it to put it together. Um, this has a Boss 520 John Cassie motor in it. It's fucking amazing. It sounds great. Can't wait to drive it. Um, we've done a lot of mods on the bumpers and the engine and engine panels and uh, interior is going to be sick. So this one's one of the next big ones to come out. Um, it'll be released soon. This is another guy out of Northern California. His name's Kerry. Uh, we did a 5.0 Coyote swap in it. Our full air suspension, cleaned everything under the bottom, bed line, painted. Uh, this is actually going to be on episode three, I believe. So you'll be able to see this one out a little bit more on our YouTube channel. Um, Mike's here doing all the wiring, getting everything put together so we can get it started this week. The Chevy truck here, we did an LS swap in, made some new upper and lower control arms. Uh, we're waiting for the dyno guy and this thing's ready to go home. It's a little dusty right now, but it's a pretty clean truck and, and uh, this customer's gonna be super happy. This is one of my close personal friends, uh, Tony. Uh, bought it in, uh, put all new suspension on it, some AccuAir, um, just a bunch of little things and I'm pretty sure this will be back for a coyote swap here pretty soon. You guys have all seen us video this, drive this, and enjoy this truck here. This is a van we built for Donnie Sancho's Tacos. Uh, me and Donnie have been friends a long time. I built a lot of vehicles for him, and I can truly call him one of my one of my closest friends. Uh, he is always down to lend a hand or listen to me bitch about something. <laughs> but uh, love the guy, man. He's a good dude. So I have to warn you, this shop is very dirty because it's dusty. Because it's a body shop. This is where we do our body and paint. And I really don't have any other place to park my Peterbilt. So this is where it sits for right now. And I know, don't yell at me because it's dirty as hell. And I know I need to put it together and work on it, but uh, I don't have a lot of time, or free time that I really want to spend working right now. Uh, and I'm just trying to enjoy life a little bit and uh, kind of burnt out. So this is my Peterbilt. Uh, I stretched the hood side, stretched the fenders, bagged it, suicide doors. Put a bigger sleeper on it when I got it, didn't have a sleeper at all. It was a day cab, suicide of the, the sleeper doors. We stretched the frame six feet, um, got the single fenders on it that lay on the ground, put a back window in it, made some panels. I know it's dirty, I apologize. Uh, I don't like seeing it like this either, but I have no other place for it. The infamous limo, we're waiting on Chrome to come back so we can finish putting this back together. We did stereo interior. LS swap and airbags. This thing's really sick. Um, as soon as we get the chrome on and get the rest of chrome on it, we can start test driving it and t tuning it and uh, uh, finish up the few things we have left on it and it's out of here. This is a Lincoln convertible. Um, the boys here have stripped it all the way down to bare metal. Uh, did all the door gapping, fixed all the problems on it. Um, and now they're body working it and building it back up. Uh, we'll do a complete engine swap and interior in it when it's done and i think we're going to finish up with the c10 here uh this bad boy we just painted um it's a porsche gray it's super clean uh, a little dusty right now i meant clean by paint wise um this is for a good a good friend down the street so this puppy will go home today and uh she's done so that concludes our shop tour today. I just wanted to show you what we got going on and hope you're excited as we are about this, this next year. Hopefully we get past of all of this negative stuff that's going on in the world, but uh, I want you to go check out our new YouTube channel, subscribe, because we got a lot of episodes coming quick. Uh, we're gonna try to do uh, seven to 10 minute episodes to uh, kind of give you guys an insight of what we do every day and show you how we build cars and uh, hope you follow along and it's real and you love it. <laughs> so check it out, YouTube. Uh, Devious Customs, and uh, we'll be showing all these rides on there shortly. Thank you.